Good exit set there from Palm Island. And now it's talk about that. But that's a great kick return. And now they're back into Palm Island. Half. So just winning the territory battle right at the moment is uh, walkabouts. And Open his nose through. Now they're defending the screen. Palm Island Barracuda. As we're receiving them. But right now, it's walkabouts heavily on the down here. Start of this matchup, but it's a turnover there on the last. And now, Palm um, to work back out off their own end again. So we're five minutes into this one, and it's a real arm wrestle. Yeah, 15 metres out from their own end, Palm Island, and the fence is jammed in tight. <laughs> Stepping inside, outside, finally dragged down 40 metres out now. That'll be the fourth. Error. Fourth down is a great kick. Plenty of chases coming through and the pressure. Sometimes those balls on the ground are uh, more difficult to get a hold of than the ones in the air. And now they'll get their first opportunity out, just to the left of the uprights. And coughing up the ball on that first venture down there, some heavy defence. But now it's walkabouts turn to work off their own line. And a couple of familiar faces getting around here in the Palm Island. So we see uh, Cowboys player, Gamit Shibasaki, out here in the three for uh, Palm Island. I'll take you through this team list. When we... Now away they come to the left, Shibasaki. The man we just spoke about looking to hold off defenders. So strong. Now he's lost it. Uh, Jalen Feeney, the seven there, who will uh, in defence. Himself, uh, Queensland Cup player. And, uh, formerly with New... Had a fantastic season with South and... Going through to the grand final there and their first and their return back to Senior Townsville. 
but away go the walkabouts. Oh, just slipped under one there. Now, Liam Georgetown just uh, glancing up. Right array of talent. In these carnivals. Yeah. Big Jack Waddy there. As they go to the left and slicing through is the back row of Josh. Walkabouts. Here's we heard their first points for the carnival, and it'll be Josh Radford who gets them on the board. And we'll take that opportunity as they come back and go for the kick, and I'll take you through the walkabouts lineup. So, number one, we have Brent Barnes. Number two, Dylan Cummins. Three, Darren Coulton. Four, Luke Mitchell. Five, Simon Panuel. Six, Mackenzie Baker. Seven, Jalen Feeney. Eight, Manfred Baboa. Nine, Johnny Ellis. Ten, Hayden Sultner. Eleven, Dane Thompson. Twelve, Josh Radford. Thirteen, Ashley Sultner. Fourteen, Logan Yateman. Fifteen, Wes Aditi. Sixteen, Rocky Savage. Seventeen, Shaq Pedro. Eighteen, Jack Lottie. Nineteen, Dion Fitzgerald. Twenty, Thomas Utremu. Twenty-one, Peter Utremu. Twenty-two, Llewellyn Quackerwood. 23, Jaron Fisher, 24, Silas Burke, and the 25, Mason Summer. And Jalen Feeney here having a shot at goal. So 14 minutes remaining in the first half of this matchup. And conversion successful. So six points to nil. Walkabouts with the early lead. And uh, as soon as we get an opportunity with a with a break, we'll take you through the palm oil and green side as well. So as they look to get us back underway, thank you for joining us on Blue Collar Sports. We need, uh, action from both fields here. And, uh, some Fantastic matchup we saw this morning, and there's a knock on. So Palm Island will get the only attack. See Palm Island with uh, Barracuda, who we'll see on field two a little bit later on this evening. But now, perfect opportunity to answer back here. Barracuda is green. Shibasaki, he'll get the first touch as they look to go wide. And uh, immediately they look to go on the attack. Back through the middle. Strong defense from the walkabout, they not cracking at the moment. Jinking run, dummy. Uh, Tariq Parter, fantastic to see Tariq back in Townsville playing his footy. Fantastic young man. And uh, the walkabouts will come away with it again. Excitement machine, young Tariq Parter. And it's walkabouts who work out. And Feeney will have a try for the walkabouts, but a great work from Mackenzie Baker down at short side. And caught the Barracudas green out there where it looked pretty solid defensively, but just Baker 
was able to scoot down that left hand edge, got numbers. So important to get your splits right anywhere in rugby league, but more importantly, in carnival footy when there's just attacking and uh, teams that are willing to attack from anywhere in carnival footy. You don't see uh, oftentimes probably the biggest difference. People are tuning into carnival footy for the first time, and not to say oh, it's all rugby league, but uh, it doesn't have as much of the structure that you might be uh, used to seeing in uh, cup or uh, at NRL level. So teams will be willing to chance their arm from, from further out there, and that's why people love it. Let's, uh, let's take you through as Jalen is looking to line this one up. So number one for the Palm Island Barracuda Green, number one, Azariah Illinois. Two, Frederick Haynes. Three, Gemma Shibasaki. Five, Rose Arlen Pearson. Six, Gordon Daisy. Seven, Tariq Parter. Eight, Tylan Kerr. Nine, Quinton Mwailu. Ten, Javan Ui. And conversion successful from Jalen Feeney. The 11, William Wiley. 12, Liam Georgetown. 13, Darnell Geyer. 14, Liam Gibson Kerr. 17, Dev Azaro. 18, Elijah Joe. 19, Dwayne Rubin. 20, Daryl Pearson. As we look to get back underway. And it's Daryl Pearson that gets us back. And what a carnival they had at the nines. Jack Lottie brings that one back. Fantastic seeing Palm Island's Nines Carnival hosted this year. And there's a turnover for walkabouts, and it will give Palm Island another opportunity now with the ball. Might Palm Island to this match too much down this end, walkabouts, because very quick that score line could turn around. find themselves now. Eight metres out, just to the right of the uprights. Pearson, play short. Georgetown can't find a way through. And there's both sides. Can't go back there. Now taken to ground. Fifth and last. Last.
Yeah. Green go back on the attack here. Four and a half minutes remaining in the first half. 12 points to six. These folks just having the internet hiccups there. But it looks like we're back on top of it. So, uh, now it's Daryl Pearson again. Oh, and just slices through like a hot knife through butter. And he left two. Well, sustained pressure defensively, built themselves back into this one, Palm Island. And then Pearson, well, he's got spiders on him. Just, uh, I don't want to get a hold of him at the moment. No, apologies, folks. From time to time, we're obviously bound by our remote internet here when we stream some of these live games. So at times, sometimes the uh, it can get a little bit crowded. Uh, and so uh, we're sort of bound by a Telstra can offer us, but uh, hopefully sort of work through. We're in a pretty good position here, so we're not having too many dramas, but it's as a Royal Illinois, so just bear with us at times. If it does just drop for a second, we will make sure we work on getting it back up as quick as possible. But two minutes and 40 seconds. Eastern Warriors versus Ronnie's Angels. And at 1pm on field one, Eric United versus Burton Delta Dolphins. Congratulations, ladies, and all the best for tomorrow. I think that is semi final for the Townsville University Hopper Women's Shield. Semi final one tomorrow at 11 am, Eastern Warriors versus Marty's Angels. And semi final two at 1 pm tomorrow, Eric United versus Burton Delta Dolphins. There you go, folks. If you didn't hear that one coming over there, our women's semi-finals have been sorted out tomorrow at 11 a.m. You'll see the first one. It'll be Eastern Warriors versus Rani's Angels. And uh, the uh, second semi-final will be a great matchup: Arab United versus Burdekin Delta Dolphins. Fence there now as Palm Island Barracudas look to work their way back off. Well, it's been a story of two halves within one half here. And Manahi Marangi works his way back. Darnell Guyer, they find a little bit of room to move on the outside, but shut down by walkabouts. Walkabouts were fast starting, but uh, Palm Island waited their opportunities, just as you always find in, in uh, footy, but more so in carnival footy. Eventually, the uh, possession will balance itself back out. And now Pierce, and with one foot on the line, so he'll be just outside, I believe. It's inside the 20, now they're claiming it. They're asking for it. They might have had a foot on the line. I'm just asking the question here. There will be, so walkabouts were easy. It was close. There was not much in that. And he's into the breeze there, Daryl Pearson. So it's a fair nudge. Yeah, play the ball. And it's walkabouts looking to work their way back in. So 27 seconds remaining here in the first half of action, of our round one action here in the Bindle Sharks All Blacks as they look to come back to the middle. So I'm just trying this Palm Island back. Feeney fires with the long ball. Picked up on the bounce. Still an opportunity out there on the left. Siren goes in the background. Feeney now finds his way in the backfield. Right on half time. Long ball. Defence coming across. And the scramble. Palm Island have been able to scramble right at the death. But it certainly looked like it could have been 
Walkabout's having the last day in that, but we'll go to half time. Great scramble defense there from Palm Island Green, and what a way to work their way back into that matchup. So 12 all. Is the score line at the moment? We're all locked up here. We'll just take a uh, short break. All right, folks, we're back. America and the page is up there in the... Uh Uh, Radford. Radford, isn't it? And we're back 
underway. 24 more minutes of action here as Walkabouts and Palm Island. Barracuda is green. Oh, and collision there. Say it a thousand times, there is Narries in Carnival Football. And into the breeze now, walkabouts will be working. No, feeling no ill effects. And good carry. Sonner with a quick play of the ball. Now walkabouts, and this is how they started the first half. They jumped out of the blocks. And again, another carry from Saltner. Now they're set to the right. Make it a Feeney. Feeney doubles up in the lovely line there, but he's just got a call. Might have got a call from the touchy there, so just a late whistle. Just a, a touch forward, but... Uh, I'm sure Jalen will converse and make sure that he's all over it. It's uh, two really good lineups here. 35th year for the walkabouts. You now we spoke to the three Saltner boys yesterday, their first opportunity playing all together. Young Ash, Ash Jr. and uh, Hayden and Mason. So a big moment for young Mason Saltner. Now, it's Palm Island's opportunity to work off their line again. That's Gemma Shibasaki with the play of the ball. And they've earned a penalty. Just couldn't quite get themselves back onside. And this will invite Palm Island down into the walkabout's half. And good carry there. And the 21 is Thomas Uwe. To go back on the inside. And nearly slices through, but the, uh, it was desperate defense. Throws a dummy, but that uh, desperate defense won't stop that. I just want to check the number, and it's Liam Georgetown. Dives over from dummy half, just caught them napping. We've seen him do that before. Right the way through Queensland Cup and spent a little bit of time in uh, some NRL systems. But after giving up a 12-point lead early walkabouts, two, two walkabouts, sorry, now it's uh, Palm Island leading this match, 16 points to 12. Kick to come. That's <laughs> all <laughs> 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 Moves in, strikes it, likes it. And now it's walkabouts that'll have to fight their way back into this one. Unfamiliar territory for the walkabouts so far in this matchup. They led by as much as 12. 20 minutes remaining, round one. So yeah, the number one level two sports trainer there, Coco McQuilty, Coco Quirk down there with the uh, walkabouts lads for the weekend. Turn up to a letter opening, some people would say. And uh, we'll hear Coco, a part of our call when we go up to Birmingham for the Dan Ropian Cup. 
And strong defence for bounce as they look to uh, wrestle some momentum back. It's all with Palm Island Barracudas and Pearson. Oh. He's got his fingers all over this one, his fingerprints. And 40 metres out from their own line, Palm Island. They'll carry again. And be brought down right on halfway. Tackle four. And a lovely ball there to Marangi. But, well, it's forward. So, referee right on the spot. Far closer to the action than I am, so I'll have to trust him. So, walkabouts. Just as uh, Palm Island Barracudas look to be building in attack. Walkabouts now get their opportunity. Oh, and that is strong defence. Give me Shibasaki over the top and young Azura Illinois Sam underneath. Uh, well, that one just it must have been millimetres further back than the last one. So as walkabouts look to build, Feeney, they play out the back. And it's listed as Dane Thompson, I believe, out there. But... And now it'll be Saltner. Tenzi Baker plays out to Radford. Taken there by Pearson and Guy are underneath, and it'll be a change over there. Now yeah, it's Palm Island Barracudas heading down and they have a full set of six here on the attack. 18 points to 12. Set to the right. Pearson plays out the back. And it'll be a little knock on as it went through the hands of Devazaro there. But uh, walkabouts, uh, walkabouts won't want to let him get any more points here. We've got 15 minutes remaining in this matchup. Not that it's impossible to run down, but at the moment, Palm Island Barracuda's green. It's Feeney away. They've had all the ball the second half here, Palm Island, but now it's walkabouts and it's Coulton. And a strong carry. Jack Lottie just uh, juggled it for a second, holds onto it. Baker turns the ball back inside. It's uh, Utramu. And uh, just overran the nine there, Johnny Ellis, and he had to take it on his own. Taken down by Geyer. 
Set to left with Feeney. Feeney fizzes a long ball. And Simon Panuel, but the defence was coming across. And uh, just able to shift off. He might have needed to play short one more there just to try and hold that D up. But, yeah, he left, uh, the young winger there was left with a little bit to do. But good defence. Arm Island again. Oh, my goodness. That is an absolute bell ringer. And there we go. That's the uh, fifth of the day. Get them on side. Been doing it all day, sir. And that's how you know you're at live footy. And away down the right-hand edge. 25 there with Sambira. And they keep coming this way with Vanya Lugia. Pearson. Jinking kick doesn't go and Alice scoops it up. I'll tell you what, they were flooding through though if that kick was able to get out the back from uh, Pearson. And it'll be Utromu. Once again taken down. 10 metres short of halfway. And it's that young man, young Mason Saltner. Youngest man here at the carnival. Not lacking in any heart there. It's a strong carry right into the teeth of the Palm Island Barracudas. Alice picks up. Jack Lottie now. Fights his way through. 30 metres out. Just to the right of the uprights. Feeney on the right-hand side. Kicks back inside. Over the head of Azariah Lenoy. Devazaro is able to secure that one. But they're a metre out. They're going to have to work hard off their own line. I'm not sure what's going on there. But that's... Uh, it's probably pretty silly there, just giving up a penalty. They had them exactly where they wanted them. Just uh, went on with it. 12 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in this one. 18 points to 12 at the moment for the Palm Island Barracudas. And the kick will find touch. 23 metres out from their own line. And a little knock on in there, and this will give Walker about some opportunity. They'll be packing scrum down. It will be 30 metres, 32 metres out on the left hand side of the field. Jalen Feeney just bucking orders here. Now, yeah, see what they can do here. This halves combination of uh, Mackenzie Baker and Jalen Feeney. A fantastic season this year, Mackenzie, with the uh, Townsville Blackhawks. Back at home after travelling away. Now, yeah. yeah, here he comes now. Mackenzie Bacon in the short side. Oh, just running out of space. And that's Daryl Pearson. And they get straight around him there. As he clutches at a hamstring. Well, Daryl probably stoked he still got him. <laughs> oh, and that was effort there because that was they were going to be away for all money, but Daryl found another link. No, no good, he reckons. He's odds on. He'll get. It. But that uh, well, it was desperately needed. They looked like they'd stripped him down that short side there, walkabout, and now. Palm Island working off their own line again. And over the top. And geez, it's certainly hard work here, but the crowd lifting right into this. We've got ten and a half minutes remaining. Darnell Guyer. Taken by two defenders and driven back. So they're doing it the hard way at the, mo at the moment, the Barracudas, and an early kick. It won't go out on the full, but it didn't quite get the roll they were looking for for the 40-20. Uh, but it'll relieve a little bit of pressure, and they'll take their time walking to this scrum. Six points in it. Palm Island Barracudas gold. Uh, green, sorry. 
18, leading Walkabout, 12, available here. Each remove. Oh, a little bit extra in that one from the uh, Palm Island boys. I'll tell you what, you've got to be pretty willing if you're going through the middle here. Feeney now. Baker out the back. They look to set this left-hand edge alight, but they're up to the task again. Beanie works back to the middle. Jack Lottie. It is out right in front. Last tackle. Bean plays out wide. Ball goes loose. And couldn't get away from Shibasaki on that edge. And another attack and raid shut down by Palm Island Green. Eight minutes and 40 seconds for them to hold on here and get victory in round one. Walkabouts, eight and a half to fight their way back into this. They split the points in the first half at 12 ball. And it'll be that man Shibasaki now to bring it out. There's always a strong carry out of the backfield gamut. It's one of the real highlights of his game. Now they're out to the 40. They come away down the right-hand edge, back on the inside, and they found a little bit of room here. Support runners coming from everywhere, but walkabouts are able to flood back and shut that down. They're set deep into the left. Drops it on the shoe, Gaia. And they will wait for a call. Darnell Gaia looks to do it all himself, and he will. Darnell Gaia scoops on the scraps. And after an enthralling battle of end-to-end -end rugby league, Palm Island Barracuda is out to a 10-point lead. But it looked like there was nothing on. Daniel Guy just scooped on a loose ball, stepped back inside one or two, and uh, nearly had to pull himself up before he went over the dead ball line there. Short in goals here at the Sports Reserve. Fresh leg is coming for the walkabouts. Well, they jumped out to an early lead. They were 12 nil up after 10 minutes. Walkabouts, but Palm Island steadied the ship. A lot of uh, a lot of veteran heads in this Palm Island Barracuda side. Calm heads just were able to steady the ship, get back into building some pressure, get back on the front foot. And now I can only expect uh, if everything goes to plan here. They'll have a 12-point lead with about six minutes remaining. You can check out the uh, scores over on uh, Field One as well. So on our YouTube channel, we've got Field One, and it'll be conversion successful there. For the number four, and that's Ray Zarwin Pearson, fastest man on Palm Island after the nines this year. And they get us back underway, it'll be a short kickoff. And well taken.
all the best now. Have need to get, if they can get away, we're going to have a grandstand finish. 24 points to 12, under five minutes remaining. Away to Feeney. It was a uh, Aditi drag down there. Feeney, heavily involved at the moment. Dion Fitzgerald, once again, back to the posts. Pulled up a metre short. Desperation defence at the moment from the Barracudas. Feeney carries himself. Rosal and Pearson. And there's a penalty there. Apologies, that's not Pearson. That was uh, Freddie Haynes out there. But he was strong in defence there. He had to be. Feeney decided to take him on, but they've got a penalty and they'll go again. Four minutes remaining. To take the tap. Redfin. Taken down five metres out. Ellis shapes to the right. Can't get the ball down. He'll be a metre short. Three and a half minutes remaining. Tapped on. Ball's gone back. That one hasn't. And Palm Island survive again. Lights, we've got a knock on. It's the player down there, and it looks to be Freddie Haynes. Well, Hayden Sullivan has been on everything here today for walkabouts, and uh, you got young Ash. Ash at lock there, just sort of trying to get some support out there. The boys looking to play. Obviously, no time out in uh, Carnival Rugby League. Only in the finals. He looks to be in some distress here. A bit of concern for the young man. But uh, they had their opportunities, walkabouts. So they jumped out to a 10, uh, 12, after 10 minutes. So Palm Island didn't have it all their own way, but certainly once they got started, you know, they've been very controlled in what they do, what they've executed. And they built themselves into this one, and they'll build themselves into this carnival. So 24 points to 12, Palm Island, 12 point lead, two minutes remaining. As the siren goes off on field number one. Sorry, that was. Good call. Along on uh, our YouTube channel for all those matches. Bit of concern here for the young man. And uh, Jalen Feeney is not a tiny outside back, I would say. Quite a big man. Certainly is a bit of concern being shown for the young man, so we hope that this is uh, not a serious injury. Our level two sports trainers that are down there, no, and he's uh, well, we're inside 60 seconds, and that might uh, be all she wrote for this one. And uh, so it looks like it's going to be. Palm Island Barracudas, Green, who take this one out. 24 points to 12 over the walkabouts. And coming up next, we have Eastern Warriors, and they'll be taking on OMS here on field one. And over on field two, you'll have Thuggera Warriors versus uh, Rachel Sutton Memorial. And we spoke to the Thuggera Warriors boys, Carl Anderson coming back for those boys. Making, uh, he's come back. Boys venturing uh, their routes back to Cyboy Island, but you see the two teams come together and uh, the ambulance is out there now with the young man. So, yeah, it looks like it's fairly, uh, could be a. Uh, no, he's been able to get back to his feet. 
as the clock goes in the background. Well, uh, we certainly hope that uh, he's not out too long. But our two teams come together. Congratulations, Palm Island's Barracudas Green. They had to do it the hard way and uh, walk about. I'm sure that they'll be uh, regrouped and be back in their second matchup. They, they had, uh, had their opportunities. Uh, and I'm sure they'll be living, looking to a uh, fight back tomorrow when we see them go around on day two of the 37th annual Bindle Sharks All Blacks. Join us for our next matchup here. It'll be Eastern Warriors taking on OMS.